Hi, my name is Adeline Gray. I'm a five-time world champion for Team USA for women's freestyle wrestling. I competed in the 2016 Rio Olympic Games. Let's head to the mat. Today we're gonna talk about stance and motion. We're gonna go over a couple drills, such as getting into our stance, changing elevations, circling, down blocking, sprawling, and shadow wrestling. Mastering these simple techniques allows you to advance forward to be offensive as well as understanding your defensive level of wrestling. It creates angles and forces your opponent to open up their wrestling so you can open up yours to score points. So whatever hand you would throw a ball with or kick a ball, we're gonna take that and put it on that leg. That leg's gonna move forward and then this back foot is gonna go into a sprinter stance. So if you were gonna run away and push off the blocks, that's the, what we wanna come up onto a toe. From there, we wanna transfer mo most of our weight into our front leg, change elevations, so our hips come down but our head stays up. Hand comes in front, butt stays low, back straight, elbows in, hands down to protect the legs. This is a basic wrestling stance. So the main thing that we need to remember is this triangle. Our head is the top, our hips are the bottom. So the base of the triangle, the tip of the triangle, we have to keep that integrity the entire time. So when we talk about getting into our stance, anytime you're in bad resting position, it's usually when that triangle's flipped upside down. So if our head is low and our butt is high, we're probably in trouble. And if we can fix that and put our head high and our hips low, then we're gonna be in better position. It's so important to have a great stance. It's really hard to do anything in wrestling if you don't have this fundamental down of being able to be low and advancing forward in your wrestling stance. From here, we're gonna change elevations. All that means is we're taking our hips lower and our head's gonna stay up and we're gonna touch the mat, protecting this front leg. We can have this leg being able to bounce off to pressure forward. Most of our weight is in this front leg. We can come back up, we must protect the legs, never coming higher than the belly button. If you're standing up straight, you're probably gonna be more defensive. If you're gonna be low and in your stance, advancing forward, you're gonna be more offensive, more willing to be on the attack, scoring points, and just overall better at wrestling. The next basic wrestling position we're gonna work on is circling. Being able to be agile in your stance, moving and not having too much weight on one foot versus the other, and transferring that weight without forcing our feet together. We wanna make sure we get into our stance, we have good distance between our legs, and when we're moving, we keep that distance. So we're never crossing our legs or putting our feet close together because we'll be susceptible to be taken down. So we keep our feet apart and we're circling, change direction. This right hand stays in front to protect my right leg. This hand staying open to be able to attack. We're circling. Next position is down blocking. So we're gonna get into our wrestling stance. If someone starts attacking us and trying to get to our legs, we're gonna put our hands down, block with our head and take our leg away. So what that looks like is this position right here. We wanna keep our eyes up. We wanna lower our head, take our leg backwards so they can't attack it and our hands down and bring them right back up to advance into our opponent. You can tell I'm staying low in my stance at all times. I am dipping my head below my hips, but I'm bringing it back up into position right away. The next move we're gonna do is a sprawl. You're getting into wrestling position. This is a defensive move where we're gonna take our hands to the mat and our foot's gonna shoot back. Our hip is gonna try to shoot into the mat. Our shoelaces go to the top of the wrestling mat. Some common mistakes with sprawling are that people go too far onto their hip. So when they sprawl, they land down on this side. That creates too much of an angle, and if your opponent doesn't go underneath you, then you could be susceptible to being taken down. So when we sprawl, we want to make sure that the hip goes flat into the mat, and this foot is straight back so we can extend backwards, and our chest stays high enough to be able to circle around and keep our opponent in front of us. So similar to how you always see boxers walking around, punching mirrors or punching a shadow, we're gonna do that, but in deep wrestling stance. So we're getting to our wrestling stance, we're picturing an opponent in front of us, and from here, we're pretending like we're wrestling, so we're envisioning them taking a shot and down blocking. 
We're envisioning them circling and trying to get to our leg and forcing us to change elevations, circling to open up an attack or a sprawl when they're attacking us. Down block, sprawl, moving, and seeing the opponent in front of you. This can be a great cardio workout. Being able to visualize your opponent in front of you, changing elevations and putting together all of your different moves that you know and be able to be offensive and defensive in your stance is vital to having success on the live wrestling mat. Now that we're all wrapped up, remember, do your stance in motion, but keep the triangle, your head above your hips. The stance in motion can really help with just the basic fundamentals of wrestling. Don't forget to practice this every single day and put on a YouTube wrestling match and follow along as you do your stance in motion. And don't forget, stay hydrated. Thanks so much for watching. Try out these tips and let us know how they go in the comments below. Marker. Marker. There is something else I want to say about that. But I didn't catch my breath.